Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to review the Canon SX620 HS camera. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet, you know what to do. Go hit on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So anytime we post new video, you will be the first to get notification. Now, let's get into it. So recently, we've been looking around the marketplace for a budget-friendly camera for our vlogging activities. And we came across the Canon SX sx620 hs camera and we decided to go for it it's cost twenty five thousand for rent which is 81 dollars or 68 euros equivalent and the camera actually came with just the charger so here is the charger and unfortunately the charger was a three pin plug and this is not the type we use here in europe so we had to get an external two pin adapter which cost around um i would say 1.5 to 2 dollars and actually it works well so the camera is a 20.2 megapixel full hd camera also that was the reason why i went for it because we needed something that can take good quality videos for you all out there so um we've had it for a few days and i actually charged it it took about two to three hours to charge fully and we tried to use it for, for the first day when we charged it fully to see how best or how good the battery is and uh it's been a few days now we still have a full battery we took a lot of videos and pictures on the first day uh we didn't use it extensively after that but i well we will still keep using it to see how long the battery is going to last there so far it's proven pretty good so that's actually good to know and uh, some of the functionalities of the camera one which i personally like is the wi-fi feature so which means you can actually connect this camera to your device could be your iphone or your android or even to your laptop if it has a wi-fi capability and you can transfer your pictures or videos to other devices with the wi-fi and also you can print via wi-fi if your printer has a wi-fi which is actually very good and um it came with a 64 megabytes uh sorry 64 gigabytes of um SD, which is also quite impressive because most of the HD uh, videos take up a lot of space. So 64 is manageable, uh, at least for for a camera, right? So that's that's actually good. And um, also talking about functionality and um, other features that it has, we have this external flash which is hidden somewhere here once you pull this trigger down the flash pops up and it works very well uh, for the modes of shooting there are actually different modes so far we only tried the auto mode and with the auto mode it's actually based on the environment change to to other modes right so if it's sunny then it's auto switches to another mode that favors the the environment and the lightning same applies to if you are taking the video or picture in 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 a pretty dark environment or at night we've not gotten the time to try all of the modes but this is something that we would do also and um one interesting thing about the camera is the fact that its optical zoom is 25x so which means it can take shots from a pretty far distance um we can actually try that right here to to focus at an object and looks like it works pretty well and um in the videos that i'm going to show you guys uh we took some outdoor videos as i mentioned early on we did some zoom tests as well so you can tell us how good it is and you all can also tell us the video quality if if it's good enough you know it will be very good to hear from you guys um, I like this camera, Nana also does, because it is very small. It can literally fit inside your palm and uh, it can also fit in your pocket. You don't need a big external bag to carry the camera around. And it fits very well on our camera stand. It's it's very small, so, you know, you, it's easily, you, you can easily move it around and, you know, it, it works pretty fine. So, you all should watch the video. The videos we took with the camera and the pictures and give us some feedback if you are a camera geek you can tell us what would be the best settings to leverage on to maximize uh, the quality of the camera 
if you would suggest some cameras as well that would be very good we would like to hear from you guys you can comment in the comment section and if you've not subscribed yet to our channel you know what to do go hit the subscription button and notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos now sit back and enjoy the videos that we took with the canon sx620 hs and as, as well as the pictures that we took with them and let's hear from you guys if this is good enough enjoy Sunny, it's cold, not so sunny. I don't know. The weather is, it can't make up its mind. It's what? <laughs> 